Plastic surrounds us everywhere. The most known plastic type is PET, a light material, resistant and versatile, out of which most of the packages are made of. If going to the landfill, these packages would occupy 5 million cubic meter space. Once deposited, decomposition would take hundreds of years, leaving a toxic gift to future generations. But PET can be recycled, which means protecting the environment and cleaning the cities. Recycled PET is used as raw material in the production of new products, which means resource efficiency and growth opportunities. Through recycling, a PET bottle can turn into a new bottle, polyester fibre, cotton, synthetic or synthetic wool used in the composition of textiles, hygiene products or fillers for sofas and cushions. Polyester strap, used as a binding product in the wood industry or metallurgical industry. We are Green Tech and in 2002 we opened in Romania the PET packaging recycling path. Today we can collect, treat and recycle 110,000 tonnes per year of PET that people leave behind. Greentech is the European leader in PET recycling and an important producer of PET granulates and PET strap products. The company is part of the Green Group, the largest integrated recycling park in southeastern Europe, which brings together six companies specialised in the management, collection, recycling and recovery of major types of recyclable waste. Our mission is to transform waste into resources using PET technology and green solutions, paving the way for a future with zero waste recyclable in landfill. To be valued as a resource, PET packaging follows a series of advanced technological processes once inside the Green Tech plant, the first step is the removal of impurities. Then, the bottles are sorted by colour, crushed and washed through multiple technological operations. The final result is a tiny and clean small piece of plastic called PET flake. PET flakes are used as raw materials in the production of packaging or other products. PET waste bales, purchased by the company through its own collection or from authorised collectors, are visually inspected according to data sheets, then unloaded onto the concrete platform where the reception and barcode labelling are performed according to their quality. Technologies for the identification and sorting of waste are essential to get the best quality PET flakes, which subsequently become raw materials in other production processes. The first step is to break the bales, then to separate bottles by colour and type of material. The sorting operation is a complex process. By using a rotary sieve and a ballistic separator, the large impurities, such as sand and dirt, are removed mechanically, and other polymers than PET, such as PE foils, cardboard and papers, are removed manually. The metallic waste found in bales is removed automatically by a magnetic separator. Also, the aluminium cans waste are eliminated with an automatically eddy current sorting system. The last step is optically colour sorting for PET bottles, which are transported and distributed at feeding mouths of grinding mills. PET plastic is ground into flakes of 8 up to 12 mm size. After grinding, the following processes are washing and separation. The washing is done with hot water and special cleaning products in vertical reaction vessels and the drying process is performed in heated mechanical centrifuges. In order to have a very good quality product, at final operation, an advanced PET flake sorting is performed with optical sorting installations. PET flakes are packed in special covers, big bag type, of approximately one tonne. The content of each bag is quality tested in laboratories before being sent to final processors. Mm -hmm. 
latest technology facilities and intensive research of our technical departments make possible that recycled PET in green tech plants to be used as feedstock in the production of packaging and other products. In order to produce PET strap, Greentech has two technological lines of production with a cumulative capacity of 1,300 kg per hour. The flakes are extracted in a crystallizer where during one hour at a heating temperature of 160 degrees Celsius, crystallization is produced. The extruders are working at heating temperatures of 265 to 280 degrees Celsius and crystallized flakes introduced here in order to be mixed together with additives followed by melting, homogenizing and moisture removal processes. The polymer is melted and injected into a special mesh filter, hence reaching metering pumps that send material to the extrusion nozzles, resulting in the end the PET strap. The strap is subject to the processes of cooling and solidification, followed by stretching to improve the physical and mechanical properties, strength, elongation and the width and thickness of the strap. The stretched strap reaches the winder, where each roll is individually wrapped and labelled accordingly. Made of 100% recycled flakes, PET strap is a binding product with excellent durability and resistance, used in the wood industry, in metallurgical, textile and construction industry. Our PET granules are made of 100% recycled PET and they become raw material for the production of food and non-food packaging. In order to obtain our PET, the PET flakes are introduced into an extruder where the material is plasticized, homogenized and passed through a mechanical fine filter for waste disposal. From the filter, melted granulation is transferred to the granulation machine. Before packing, granules are passed through a sieve, which is separating them according to the optimum sizes from the others. PET granules already sorted are packed in big bags, labelled and sealed airtight. To ensure the best end products, the company implemented an integrated quality management system, providing the best working conditions for its employees. By using innovative recycling technologies, Greentech promotes sustainable solutions with benefits for the environment and citizens.